Welcome to Lister Tainman, the channel with the most deceptive name in all of YouTube. And we're back for the 12th segment of my most popular series, where regular guys challenge pro fighters. I call these guys idiots because that's what you have to be in order to think that you stand a chance against a highly trained fighter. I truly wonder if these guys think they have a chance or do they just want to see how far below their skills they are compared to the best. Then again, there's also those guys that are so insecure that they just have to do anything possible to prove their manhood to themselves. If you happen to enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below. Also make sure to turn on those notifications. Let's get started. This happened at the world famous 10th Planet Gym belonging to Eddie Bravo. This guy walked in trying to see what these guys could do and challenged Chai Surisute, which he more than happily took on. I don't know what he meant by break knuckles, but luckily for him, he didn't throw any punches or this could have gotten serious. I think that this video is just a guy that is really brave and is a skeptic of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But it only took two submissions to learn the lesson that so many people learn. <laughs> that this discipline is for real. That first takedown must have hurt since he slammed his head into the wall. But he did ask for more which is very respectable. Now we have this Wing Chun guy challenging a boxer to a quick sparring session that obviously didn't turn out well for him. Not sure why he wasn't wearing gloves, but all his Wing Chun techniques did not work out very well. The amazing channel Fight Commentary Breakdowns had this one on one of their videos and he basically said that this guy doesn't even know how to use Wing Chun since he doesn't trap the boxer's hands very well or at all. This guy is lucky that this is only a sparring session because he completely turned his back but the boxer was nice enough to let him get back into his position before he wrecked them, which he did shortly thereafter. This is one of those videos that ends extremely quick, but you can fully see the difference in training. Obviously, the guy on the left is a challenger and he's all jumpy trying to do some fancy moves, while the actual boxer is completely relaxed. As soon as the boxer sees his opponent's movements, he realizes that this is going to be really easy so he baits the guy to come in and fakes a body shot that completely lowers the challenger's hands, at which point he delivers a powerful straight right that ends this thing right then and there. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has a huge entourage of bodyguards and in this video we see one of them challenging one of Floyd's prospects and promptly gets shut down. The bodyguard is no slouch because he threw a pretty good left hook. It didn't land because the boxer was quick to cover up, but it was a pretty nice shot. As soon as the boxer sees the crowd cheer on this left hook, he decides to put on a show and throws a fast straight right hand that I think was a knockout shot because I don't think that left hook landed. The bodyguard claims he wasn't knocked out because he got up pretty fast, but his head moved like he got really rocked, so I think it was the right call to stop the fight. Now we have the best kung fu guy in the world, wearing gray pants. You are going to be completely impressed. <laughs> you actually thought that the kung fu guy was actually gonna win? Come on now. The other guy is a Sander trained fighter and I think he was laughing at one point. The kung fu guy can't even raise his head to see his opponent. I don't know if he thinks that this is the best way to hide his chin, but a good uppercut will end a guy like this and that's exactly what the Sanda guy did. Except he did take his time to finally throw it. I think he was trying to make fun of this guy, but when he got fed up, he ended it fast.
Okay, first off, the guy in black is not a professional fighter, and he's not a great fighter either, but he does appear to have some training, especially on the ground. The other guy is apparently a guy that was talking a lot of crap and this guy wanted to put him in his place, which he certainly did. I mean to be honest, I don't really think you need training to be able to beat this guy, but he did walk into this gym and these guys were training there and he challenged them. Also some comments said that he may have some mental issues, but I can't confirm that, although he does speak in a very peculiar way. <laughs> Por eso, vamos ahí, saluden. Sí, se les llama luchadores. Agarran a los otros luchadores y los echan de cabeza en el gym y ganan porque el referee les levanta la mano. Tai Chi is on full display right here with this older gentleman who challenges a kickboxer. Do these guys get any sort of benefit from taking on these challengers? This guy is so bad that the kickboxer is setting him up from the beginning and he doesn't even realize it. The kickboxer was just throwing kicks to his legs the entire time and if you notice the Tai Chi dude is looking down at his legs more and more throughout the fight until the end when the kickboxer throws a kick to his face that ends this painful display. The old man just looks like he's one of those guys that is doing Tai Chi in the town square and never actually used it in a real fight. Except this time, there's a guy standing in front of him. The guy now wearing gloves is a trained fighter and his name is Scorpion X. According to his description, this guy was showing off his muscles, which I don't see any. But Scorpion X told him to go into the ring and show him what he can do there. plan was to let the show off throw some punches at him and show him what he can do and the pro would just dodge and cover up and only use grappling. Simple head movement and covering up is all the defense he needed. Although the challenger didn't appear to be throwing his best stuff, or maybe it was, but he just sucks. Where the pro really shined is when he took him to the ground, where he was able to submit him three times in this short sparring session. Now we have another kung fu guy in this gym facing off against the sanda guy. Clearly the sanda guy is not the best, but his mediocre training was more than enough to beat this cocky kung fu dude. The kung fu guy started with a good punch, but that was only because the sanda guy was, was complaining about a knee. Then it really began. Mr. Kung Fu has absolutely no idea how to block any punches, since he uses a standard traditional martial arts style of not keeping your hands up. He can't do anything about those straight overhand rights or the left hooks or any type of punch really. Even when grabbing the other guy's head, he doesn't know what to do so he still keeps getting hit with punches. And since this happened in China where they tried to protect traditional martial arts, they declared this fight a draw. What a joke. These guys were in the gym setting things up for their new school when this guy claiming to be a purple belt and a cop walked in asking for prices but he soon started making wild claims about being a purple belt so one of the guys decided to roll with him. It only took one 5 second submission for this guy to come clean and say that he was neither a cop or a purple belt. 
Usually these can turn out pretty bad, but John McEwen completely forgave him, but taught him a lesson on humility and discipline. They rolled a couple more times with the same result. This is definitely a school that everybody should want to be a part of, cause these guys are really really cool. The never ending line of moron continues guys, I love watching these videos, and if you know of any other that I haven't found, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching this video, see you next time.